Good morning guys, Dr. Dual Sport here. Say I'm going to uh, just give you a little update on my progress on the repairing of the <clears throat> pivot uh, track filler cart. Uh, I'll show you as you can see I've got my uh, new axle in there. Uh, the first thing I did to prepare is I had to cut the cut the axle out of this uh, beam and uh, this axle is uh, two and two and seven eighths inch and it's actually welded into the beam itself and then had to cut a uh, collar with the proper spacing and then that welds into the beam um, had to put everything in uh, let's see uh, okay where they There's a piece of tubing that goes on right here and it had ripped out of the frame. So I plated the frame. I got a piece of a 3 8 inch plate. That should be plenty hefty. I've got it welded on all three sides. Now, when I get it all back together, I'll, uh, you know, weld it on this top side. Maybe put a little plate there also. When I get the... Uh, I had to put this together to find the right uh, spot for this beam, then I ha had to uh, get it like level uh, with the proper camber. Uh, when we get our end plate welded on here, then there's a collar. This collar here will be welded to the axle to hold it in there. Here, I'll show you my, I was able to get my uh, bracket all uh, fabricated. I'll sit it there, maybe you can see. Okay, this, uh, <clears throat> this piece of tubing is uh, being reused off the old machine. And then this uh, collar is being re reused. This fits the two and seven eighths uh, shaft, axle shaft. And then this uh, this plate is new as the old one was bent. So as you, as you can see, I have this all fitted and the proper uh, spacing. I now just need to uh, I'm ready to put it on there and do some like vertical welds. I'll I'll probably do a vertical pass with some 6010, burn it in real good, and then uh, then go vertical with 7018, and then I'll do the this top weld, and then as soon as that's done, weld that collar, then we can put the tires back on. We'll get the sky track and the lift this uh, cart up, take it outside there, and then we'll uh, tip it over to where it's upright. Then I can do uh, complete the rest of these welds on this side and then put a little spot of DuPont overhaul paint on there and she'll be good to go. These, I think I might, these wheel bearings are not good. They're gummed up locking up when it's cold <laughs> this is this uh trailer is like 20 years old belongs to my neighbor and i'm sure they've never wheel bearings have never been packed so so i ought to be uh i guess if he's good enough to lend me his trailer i ought to be good enough to pack his wheel bearings and then we'll have it ready to go hopefully it'll last for another 20 years anyway that's my story ready to go to welding
All right, guys, finally finished with this little welding project. I'll show you the final results. Kind of in the shade there, but anyway, we plated the frame and then uh, installed the new axle, and, and then we had to uh, fit this uh, tubing and this plate and the plate underneath it all ties it together so we've got it to where it greases and uh, also I like tapped out the hubs put grease fittings in those got them all greased up and put them on some new valve caps so it's all ready to return to the rightful owner